okay now you have created your aws account the next step is to create a linux machine and that's what we are going to do so after you logged into your aws console click on this button ec2 and and there is an option called launch instance on the top click on the launch instance button on the top and you can select uh, any linux operating system because most of our lab environment will be running on a linux machine so i'm going to create a linux machine in the aws cloud and you can choose uh, any machine you want probably i prefer to use ubuntu which is a debian based operating system a very famous operating system and most of our lab environment would be on ubuntu so if you use ubuntu that would be good that would be you know kind of we both will have the similar lab environment but if you are familiar with linux it's fine you can use any operating system that you prefer to use so i'm going with ubuntu click on select button next to ubuntu then you see this option t2 micro by default it is t2 micro and t2 micro is something special they it is a free machine that aws provides you for new aws account sign up what that means is if you create a machine uh, that is t2 micro and if you run it for throughout the month it is not going to cost you because it's free you cannot create a second machine aws gives you only 750 hours of usage for this machine so you can go ahead and create this machine by clicking this button review and launch and then click on the launch button again and then it will ask you to uh, either choose from an existing key pair or create a new key pair if it is your first time go with the second option create new key pair and give it some name you can give any name that you prefer to give and then click on this download key pair button then what happens is a key will get downloaded to your laptop you can actually see some file got downloaded into my laptop coid.pem in my case in your case whatever name that you provided with a dot x pem extension and that's it now you can go ahead and click on the launch instance button once again and you would see the machine getting created within it won't take much time only few seconds within few seconds the machine will be ready now we can go back to the same page ec2 click on the services on the top then click on ec2 then you can actually see the machine that you have just created inside your aws console so this is the machine and the machine is currently in the pending state it might take a couple of seconds for the machine to get created and ready to run and once the machine become ready you will be able to log into this machine from your laptop and it does not really matter what operating system you use inside your laptop maybe you are using a windows pc or maybe you are using a macbook it doesn't really matter whatever operating system that you use you will be able to log into this machine that you have just created in the cloud in the aws cloud and you can see the location the physical location of the machine if you click on the button over here uh, in my case it is mumbai in your case it could be some other location so wherever the location is it is not important where uh, the machine that you have just created in aws is physically located it's not important what is important is that the machine has a public ip which you can find over here uh, public ipv4 address uh, in my case it start from 3.109 etc you will find a similar public ip on your aws machine and that is important if the machine has a public ip you can connect to that machine and you can even log into that machine it doesn't really matter where you are located that's good right and these are the kind of machines we would be mostly using for our lab environment so next we will see how you can log into this machine from a pc from your laptop so let's go to the next session